Hi, and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial video. In this video, we're going to go over the Unity user interface. To get started, double click on the Unity icon on your desktop. When the project window, window wizard launches, click on create new project and type in probably our next game. Packages are pre-made assets that you can include in your project to speed up development time. We are not going to be using any packages in this project. However, there are options that allow you to import them later on. Click on the Create button and Unity will launch. When Unity launches, you will see the Welcome to Unity screen. This screen contains a number of useful links that you can use to access some features, such as the Unity Answers and Unity Forms. You can also disable this to stop it from showing on startup by clicking on the checkbox. The file option contains uh, how you will create scenes, open projects, and how you can modify your build, and setting, build settings. Click on build settings. In build settings, you can switch which platform you're developing for. We're going to switch to the web player. There are many platforms that you can develop for, although some require licenses that you may not have. The edit option contains many features such as undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, duplicate, delete. There is also render settings and project settings which are very useful and we will be using them later on. Assets are anything that is user made such as scripts, prefabs, materials, and physics materials. It is also where you can import, pack import the packages that we did not earlier on in case you need them. Game objects are anything that exists in your game, such as shapes, lights, text, textures, particle systems, and your camera. Components can be attached to game objects to create different behaviors. Some important ones are the rigid body and the, co and the colliders. The terrain system is not going to be used in this tutorial, and so I'm not going to cover it. Window and the window option will allow you to open up windows that you have closed, such as your console, which is where you can find debugging information. The help option allows you to access the welcome screen, allows you to check for updates, and report bugs. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, click on any of the links on the screen to view our other videos, and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.